Once again, we have to break into the USWA program. Bob Armstrong is around here. He's tampering with portions of our program. Not even supposed to be in the building here today, but with uh, having part ownership of the USWA and all this sort of thing, I tell you, it just gets beneath my skin. There's Armstrong and all this stuff that they're pulling in here. We are going to uh, now, I guess, we'll, uh, we'll keep you updated on what's going to take place in this thing now as the program continues here. Right now, let's get back to more action here in the USWA. Let's do that. Right, Jerry Jarrett will be in the corner of Jeff Jarrett and special stipulations. The control of USWA is on the line. On the other hand, Jerry Jarrett's home is on the line. Well of a night tonight, 7.30 at the Gardens. Make your plans to be there tonight. I'm before you here today, the proud and happy new owner of the USWA. You know, it's a funny thing. Everything I predicted came true. I asked the USWA representatives to call off the war and I would have called off my war dogs, but it didn't happen. You wanted it your way, and it came out my way. Now I'm your proud owner. I'm so proud of my son, Jesse James Armstrong. He beat Jeff Jarrett within an inch of his life. Double J, Jeff Jarrett. It should be Double J, Jesse James Armstrong is what it should be. And now it is, because things are going to go my way now. And I'm going to make a lot of changes in this company. Now that I own it, like I said I would, I'm going to make a lot of changes because the first thing I'm going to do is Brother Corey. I hope you can find a job at the car wash because you're going to need it because you're gone. Now, next I have on my list here Mr. Lance Russell, and I hope you can get a job at a, as a caddy at your golf club because that's what you'll be doing from now on. And then Mr. Dave Brown, the weather dude, <laughs> you'll be counting clouds somewhere else, mister, because you're out too. And last but not least, Randy Hales. The best thing I can say for you, mister, is to dig a hole, pull the hole in after you, and just disappear. Eddie Marlin, I finished him earlier with my famous figure four leg lock. But you know, if that match had continued any longer, Jeff Jarrett's career may have ended permanently. So I'm proud of my son for defeating, winning me the company. But lo and behold, when I go and I check the bank account for this company, I find that there are no funds. I find that Jerry Jarrett, the man who I wrestled with years ago, who became promoter, and after he became promoter, I was history. He got rid of me. I found out that he was the cheatingest, lionest promoter in professional wrestling history. So being the honest man like I was, he had to fire me right away. I was gone. And all the blood, sweat, and tears put in by wrestlers like Jackie Fargo, and all the wrestlers, the famous wrestlers that have been right here in the USWA, sweated blood for you, Mr. Jerry Jarrett, and now you've embezzled all the funds. Well, I'm going to tell you what. There was one stipulation that I'd give you a return match because I'm proud to be owner of the USWA. I'm happy about it. And that is that great big house that you drained all the money from USWA into your personal fund and built that huge house there in Hendersonville up on that hill. It's famous. Everybody knows it. It's a landmark. 
Now, me being the Florida man tonight, I live on the beach. It's hard for me to commute back and forth between the USWA and down on my home front beach. So the only way I would give you a rematch is for you to put up that big house. I want it all. I don't want just the company. I want everything you've got because I deserve it. I'm an honest, upstanding, upright man, not like you. So when you come to that match and sit in your boy's corner, I'll be sitting with Jesse James Armstrong. And when the match is over and our hands are raised, I'll have it all. I'll have a new home on the hill and I'll be a hands-on owner because I came, I saw, and I conquered. And I'll tell you this much, Jerry Jarrett, don't let me get my hands on you. If I put that figure four on you, brother, you're yeah, history.